So the crypto markets are down, right? And um, this is normally a good opportunity to buy some more. But the problem that a lot of people have is that people are worried about buying it and then it drops even more. So regret is a really common emotion that people experience in crypto when they'll buy something and then the price will drop. Yes. He did it. He bought. He went to all in. Dump it. So the way that I try and minimize this regret is by placing something called a limit order. A limit order is an automatic order that you can place on some exchanges where if the price drops to a certain level, you will automatically buy some more. I'm going to show you an example on FTX, which is my favorite exchange to use right now because it has some of the lowest fees out there and because it doesn't go down that often. So you have to go to spot and then BTC USDT. So this is going to be buying some Bitcoin with some Tether USDT. So to set a limit order, you need to choose a price that's lower than what it is right now. So let's say the price is around 43,000 right now. So let's say um, when the price is around 41,000, we want to buy some more. I'm choosing this number because in September, this was the level of support. So if the price is going to drop even more, it's likely to hit this base level of support. So the way to do this is you'll go to this side of the screen. So I want to change the price from what it is right now to 41,000. And then you can use the slider to choose how much of your USDT you want to use to buy it. So let's say I want to use all of it and then you hit buy and then you'll see on FTX that a line will form at 41,000 and if Bitcoin falls below that, you've just bought some more at a cheaper price. So that's how you do it on FTX. And it's the same mechanism for most other exchanges that you might use like Binance or Coinbase or Kraken. So the risk of doing this though, is that the price of Bitcoin might never drop to that level and then it might shoot off again. And then that limit order is stuck down there and it'll never get filled. That's why what I like to do is when I know I want to buy something, spend 50% of my funds to buy it straight away and then set 50% at a price underneath that to automatically trigger if the price falls to that point. So yo, make sure you follow me if you want more advice like this and I'll be doing lives where you can ask me questions about anything to do with crypto.